Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be continuing on with our tiny submarine. What are we going to be doing? Well, I think I want to build an interior hull. Now, I know that sounds kind of strange, but I need to build a hull within the hull. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? Alright, before we actually get to that though, what I am going to do is actually add a hell of a lot of weight to the bottom of this. Three rows right there, and I would actually like to do three rows right here, so let's lift this guy up. There we go, paste it right there, that's fine. Shove some of these guys underneath there, and paste it together. Now the main reason for this is so that we are lower in the water to begin with. There you go. That works, right? Now that we've done that, let's go to the inside and start building in some walls. Now, I feel like this is going to be kind of a challenging thing to do. So for now, let's just go ahead and grab this. We'll actually cut it and I will move it outside. Paste it up there for now. And we'll build in from there. Okay, so I'm thinking we actually go with these guys down both sides, kind of like this. There we go. What that does is leaves the inside bit sort of open. What we can then do is probably add something along the lines of this on the interior bit. And I think that will actually uh, look and work really nicely. I've just moved the gyro a little bit backwards as well because uh, I couldn't actually fit all of this in. But there we go. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, from there, we're actually going to go ahead and do this on the top. There we go. And that is a skin on the wall. Very nice. I don't know what it's going to be like if I just fill this in, but let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, from there, I think... I might actually move this backwards. Let's cut it, turn it sideways. We'll actually move it backwards to like there. And I'm going to paste it in right there as well. Um, bit annoying for it to be back there, but it's probably fine. Uh, with that being said, I'm now going to uh, cut that off. And our ballast tank is actually going to be all of this as well. That's big. That is very big. At the front, we're actually going to go ahead and cut that even smaller, though, because I feel like we should. So, let's go ahead and shove these guys into here like this. Obviously, the ballast tank is going to be there on the side. I'm going to add this guy to here so that it can still come through. Uh, I'll fill this piece in so we can't see it. And then this guy right here is going to be very similar, too. So, this is all still one ballast tank. From there, I think I'm going to send it across. And we'll have just the front piece be part of it. So if I do that to there, and I fill this little bit in right here, that's our ballast tank. Okay, bit weird. It does go around all the way around the side and the back. But um, that should be fine. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is a meter. So we're going to put a liquid meter into here, and that's going to allow us to know how much is... Oh, how much liquid is actually in here. From there, I'm going to fill in this floor piece, and I am going to box this bit off. In fact, probably around here. Let's do it with these. There we go. And these. Oh, yeah. We're then going to fix it in with this right here, and we're going to have a gas meter in this place. So you might be wondering what that's for. Well, in here, we're going to have a pressurized gas tank so that we can blow water out when we're underwater. I think that's how it works anyway. Okay, so up here we've got a water tank on this side, we've got an air tank on this side, we've got fill ballast, and we've got empty ballast. So, let's attach the water tank to here, and the air tank to here. Uh, that's going to allow us to see how much air is in there, and how much water is in there. Now I've got to figure out how we're going to pump this in. And out, I guess. Okay, so first things first, let's delete these guys right here, shove one of these onto there like this, and hopefully that says in. It does indeed. Although actually... I kind of want to do one. One in and one out. That might be a bit strange, but there you go. So, uh, have this turned around. Shove it there. So this one's out and this one's in. Essentially, what that'll allow us to do is blow the ballast and... Um, I don't know what the wording is, but sure. Anyway, gas. Here we go. Gas relief valve. Shove it on there and there. Get ourselves a fluid port and shove it on the next piece. And that should be good. Bosch and Bosch. Okay, we're then going to do the same thing in here. Awesome and awesome. There we go. Nice. Okay, so when we're filling the ballast, we're going to take the air out of the tank and push it into a pressurized tank. We're then going to do the opposite when we go to empty the ballast. Yes, I feel like that makes sense. 
The next thing we need to do is be able to pump water in. So let's just go ahead and do this. All right, awesome. Go to the underside. I... <laughs> That's not gonna work. Not like that anyway. Although, if I put these on the outside, I might be able to go out of here somewhere. Oh, that's kind of a hard place to get to. Sort of. I could just do this. Shove this guy under there like that. And add some pipes to get to there. Although, that then blocks off this bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't do that. I can't actually have it go that way. So, fill all of that back in. We need something else. All right, we're doing it from the inside of the vehicle. Um, yeah, we're actually going to be able to see these pumps. Although, they're actually going to be at the front, not the back. Yes. Okay, that makes sense, I think. Uh, I'm actually struggling to get them in, like, the right places, but I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Okay, so I'm thinking if I just do this. So if I go to pipe really quickly, we shove a pipe directly onto here like this. There we go, we get ourselves a fluid port, and we shove that on the next bit into the tank, which is just here. And then we put one of these guys right there. There we go, that should work. As long as, if we go to the underside, we delete one of these, one of these, and we put some pipes through, we should be able to attach all of this together, I think. So put that there, go to fluid ports really quickly, shove that guy onto there and onto there, go ahead and paint these the right colors, there we go. Okay. So that's fulfilling the ballast tanks. We now need a way of emptying them. Okay, so at the back of the interior thing, we're going to go ahead and do a very similar job right here. So that goes that way. We are going to delete this and this, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and then we need to add pipes so that it goes in. So, fluid. Yes. We're going to need one of these guys to go on there like this. I actually think we can probably get away with this anyway. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, I just got disorientated, but we're good. Uh, on the top right here, we're just going to go ahead and put a fluid port again. And that is going to be where the water comes out, I think. Okay, everything should be attached together. Let's go ahead and just jump inside and see what this does. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We've got the pumps at the front. We've got the pumps at the back. If I go ahead and say fill ballast tanks, the air in the air tanks is going to fill up. As much as it sort of wants to. Although the air supply all being at the front is probably a bad thing. And then the water in the tank says zero. That can't be right. Alright, there we go. Now it's actually working. So it is filling up the tanks. The air tank at the front is filling. The water tank is filling too. And that should be filling the tank. So let's go ahead and have a little look back here. And see if there is water back here. Because this is sort of where it should be. If we were to see it. But I don't see any. Hmm. Is there water at the front? That, that would make no sense. Oh, it's really hard to see. Anyway, you can see that we are sinking not very well. We're actually going ass first. Which is not great, to be honest. Not really how I want it to go. But you know what? I'm going to let it continue until we are, hopefully, fully underwater. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but maybe. Okay, so I'm actually thinking we've got way too much room at the back for the water to get into anyway, so let's just stop it from going any further back. We're just going to cut it off right here, uh, and right here, although actually, if I flip this, does it cause issues? I can't actually remember. Uh, I'm just going to shove it in here anyway, and then we'll merge that together. There we go. So let's build this across. There we go. Okay, so now there won't be like a heap of... Oh, a load of water at the back, and not very much at the front. Oh, although this is much higher, this tank. Maybe this tank should be down there. But this is where the air tank is. I don't know, we could swap it around. Anyway, let's just try it again. Okay, I've been messing with the ballast a little bit, uh, so that there is actually a ballast tank down here now, at the front. So hopefully the the submarine will actually lower sort of more more level, which would be great. So, we're just waiting for it to go fully underneath the water. And then I want to see if the blowing of the air tanks works very well as well, because that's going to be kind of important. Uh, I should probably put the seat inside as well, but it is what it is. If it's on the outside, it's on the outside. Uh, I want this to go, like, fully underwater before I do anything else. Hopefully it just goes straight down rather than causing issues, but... I don't know. It's kind of hard to balance sometimes. 
Okay, so with the extra weight and the ballast tanks, uh, we are actually underwater. Like, we, we are actually under, which is great. Uh, so that means we can achieve neutral buoyancy, although we are a little bit heavy at the front. So I might remove a little bit of weight, uh, and that should sort of fix things a little bit, I believe. But now we need to test out the blowing of the tanks, so let's go ahead and stop filling. And we need to go to empty. Okay, so... Essentially what happens is the air inside the air tank gets pushed into the water tanks. And that should push the water tank, or the water, out of the water tanks really, really quickly. Now the issue that we might have is I haven't put a uh, liquid valve on there. So the air might actually go straight from the air tank through there and out. Which I think is what sort of happened. But I could be wrong. Yeah, but that does look to be the case. So if we look on the outside again, obviously we are ascending again up to the surface. But we need to put some filters on those. Alright, so there we go. It is uh, almost empty, and if we have a little look out the top, this one comes down, this one actually comes down as well, which it shouldn't. Uh, we are actually out of the water, kind of. Um, yeah. I mean, still sort of in the water, but kind of out of the water at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Yes, the ballast tanks work. I don't know what happens now if I say, like, fill ballast tanks. I don't think the air one is going to do too well. But what we should do is put a valve on this and then we'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, oh, that's kind of annoying. You know what, actually, I don't mind it looking like that. Let's go to pipes real quick. Shove this guy onto there like this, pointing backwards. Go to gas, uh, valve, yes. Oh, I can't do it that way either, can I? It needs to be another straight pipe, like that. Then a gas relief valve thingy. Oh, is it liquid? What does this one do? Uh, yeah, it's liquid. All right, so we need a liquid valve on there. Um, like this, there we go, and then we need a fluid port on the back of that. It could be anything, um, but I am going to go with the fluid port. Although, actually, I feel like that's going to look better and more submarine-like. So, we're going to go with that instead. Alright, bit weird, but let's do it. There we go. Cool. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is quickly shove this back on the inside, uh, because I feel like I need to, and in fact, I sort of do. There we go. Dro what the balls? Where's it gone? Come back. There we go. Uh, we are going to bring it back in. I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, paste it in. Merge this with this. And that is awesome. Okay, let's go back inside and test it again. Oh, before we do anything though, I'm going to go to the interior. And I am going to delete this weight right here. Including that one and this one. Shove that block into there, and that's all good. That's a lot of weight taken out, but it should be okay. Hopefully. So now when we go inside and we push the button... Oh, we're a bit close. Yeah, I might have to move this backwards. Uh, but yeah, it is filling up, and of course the air tank is filling up too. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know if I've put a... Oh, did I put a thingamabobby on that? I'm not sure. I need to test it. De -de 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 -de. So this one goes up through the bottom. There should be... There isn't. There is There is nothing there saying... Um, a liquid only. So we're going to have to put another liquid thingamabobby in there. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I should have done it at the time so that I actually know what's going on, but... I'm sure this is okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and paint this area down here. Like this. Because uh, I think it looks cool. There we go. And the bottom as well. There we go. Alright, awesome. Uh, so I'm thinking that's going to work uh, a lot better than it did. And I'm sure it will. Oh, and I'm going to shove a light back in here as well. Because obviously I wanted a light uh, in the first place. So let's just go ahead and chuck a light right here. Yeah, I'm going to do it in this color, so shove it right in there like that. Uh, and I am going to move this seat backwards, because at the minute it's too far forwards. Like, way too far forwards. So paste it in there, merge this down. Uh, I will shove a button in for the light. Actually, you know what, no. The, the button is just going to go on the seat for now. 
Number six. Sure. Connect that to the electricity and we go again. All right, there we go. Light is on. Let's go ahead and put the water in the tank, the air in the tank as well, and start sinking. All right, we're at the bottom. Let's go ahead and uh, pump this out and see what happens. So we empty the ballast tanks. The air in this tank is going to get forced into this tank, which is going to force the water out. And now that we actually have valves on it, forcing only water to go out and not air, this should go very, very quickly, I think. So, yeah, only water should be coming out. No air this time. I don't know if that's actually true, though. I don't know if that's true. Because, um... It is going down. That is also going down a lot slower than it was last time. But it... I don't know if it's going to empty. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it seems to be working a hell of a lot better than it was. So I'm happy with it. I decided not to blow it all the way out because uh, I thought it would be kind of nice to just sail around for a little bit. And this is us just sailing around for a little bit. I actually really like this thing. It is working out very, very nicely, honestly. Pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. In the next one, we are going to actually shove an engine into the back of this. We're probably going to add a periscope because it sort of needs one. Uh, and maybe a front camera that's underwater as well. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.